Now they kind of break silence over clash between the ESN and the gunmen in Anambra makes decision. You know, it was a very serious ordeal in Anambra whereby the ESN, that is the security outfit of the indigenous people of Yafran, I pop out to set out with force after the gunmen. In fact, it was a bomb. You need to see. The ESN were able to brutalize like five of these gunmen down. It was an impressive action. So, Nam the Kano speaking on this subject matter have said that this is the reason why there is need for recognition of ESN instead of uh, harboring criminals like Ebibiago as security outfit. Hear what he said. This is Morning News. On Friday, police in Anambra State verified a battle between two criminal groups in the state. A popular video on the social media showed a procession of varied automobiles with rifle widening young men transporting several dead bodies. The Anambra State Police Command, through its spokesperson, DSP Tochuku Ikenya, responded to the video by saying the two gangs battled at a funeral ceremony while trying to collect levy from the deceased relatives in order for the burial to go place. Ikenge said, We have reinforced Ihiala and its environs following a trending video of SUVs and Hilux vehicles carrying young men that were widening arms to an unidentified location. Information from witnesses showed that a violent clash ensued between these criminals and the Eastern Security Network, killing one innocent Obieke and also some persons. Double Lion has been on police wanted list and has featured in attacks on police formation, military locations, and other government infrastructure. Speaking on this matter, Mazi Namdekanu, the leader of the indigenous people of Biafra, who has been in detention, has given order to the Eastern Security Network to mount up an increased their level of action. He said that these criminals must no longer exist in the Southeast. Saying that this is the reason why they were formed and to end insecurity in the whole of Southeast. Hmm. Impressing. Impressing. This is, this is catching. Um, I tell you that if only the Southeast, if only the Southeast as a whole can just retain ESN, retain ESN as a security outfit, hmm. I'm assuring you, and I'm very, very sure that you will see the beauty, the beauty of this. Look at Anambra now. Which of these um, criminals goes caught free since Soludo recognized the ESN and IPOP as the security outfit of Anambra State? Day after day, we keep getting informations 
of the ones that have been brought down the ones that has been trapped and that is how we we'll continue to get them hmm? that's it so my people the earlier the better our federal government are the one killing us and mess, ma making a mess of the security of lives. Our security in Nigeria is seriously leaking. Leaking in the sense that those people that have been given the responsibility to secure our lives are now, uh, are now biased. Are not biased. Giving room to criminals to come in and attack us. Hmm? And that is why you see that these criminals will come in easily and start killing innocent people. Start killing innocent people. More kudos to the Eastern Security Network. It's what's it's worth commending. Um, to those who are still doubting uh, this information, um, you are welcome to make your findings and your personal investigation. In fact, I'll tell you that Anambra is 100% secured now on this matter. All right, let me hear you speak and wait to know what you think and what your take and your opinion on this very broadcast maybe don't forget to leave them below the comment box click on the subscription button as well as the buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you